Tell me what you're saying. Tell me how you doing. Tell me what's popping. How you do? How you do? What's up? Like, how how have you been? If you don't know, I am currently in Orlando, Florida not here to live just here for the summer you know and um i've been searching you know seeing what all i could learn what i could be a part of what i could do you know what i mean just trying to get into it i recently just came from like acting school i have an interview my ride is an uber so you finna come on the uber ride with me you know what i mean hmm hmm Y'all appreciate the slick though. Y'all y'all see that little shine. Y'all know about a month ago I contacted this agency letting them know like a bit about me and sending in my headshot and um my resume and a monologue reel that I did. And I didn't really expect much. I like explained to them that like I'm from the Bahamas, so this isn't my place of residence. And um, I know I did that with other agencies and they were saying that it'll be best if like I'm from here. I, I understand why most agents wouldn't want to like consider me and some others did reach out but I don't, the reviews and the stuff that I saw I wasn't like too, too like caught up to go. I asked them like if my place of residency is going to be a problem and they said um no it's not going to be a problem but i think they're probably open to like internationals so um they were like okay like um a few weeks after they emailed me and told me that you know they're gonna do like an interview with a bunch of other girls like i could come but like i got really nervous and i was like I don't know. I don't know. So I didn't go. And then I was like, okay, God, like, if you want this to be, like, you know, you could present another opportunity for me, you know? I don't want to come off desperate and just accepting anything. So any opportunity that you want to put on my lap, like, I'm cool with that. And then, like, a month later, um, they contact, they called me. I'm just not going to punk out this time and I'm going to take the opportunity and see if I could. I'm just going to, you know, dip my feet inside some cold water. Look to see how everything is and I'm just going to take you guys with me. I am a bit nervous, but because my expectations aren't like extremely high, I'm not like over the top nervous. I'm just like, oh, uh, like, oh my goodness, they called me with the heck? See you guys. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. So I am currently in the Uber. Chelsea. Okay guys, so I'm at Model Scout Talent right now and I just met the sweetest girl. Her name is Chelsea. Hi. And this is our first time here and we're both like really nervous. Yeah, she's thinking. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be expecting, do you? Yeah, so yeah, so we'll see, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so tell me you're clueless without telling me you're clueless. So apparently, this was a call back. I literally thought the process was gonna be like over here. I thought like, it was gonna be like a bunch of us aspiring models and actresses up in here and they were gonna like eliminate us and then they're just gonna like choose the ones that they like. That's how I thought it was gonna go. That's why I like have low expectations. But I didn't know that among all the submissions that they got, like, I was a chosen one. 
Excuse me? That's that. <laughs> well, I know it's not a scam because one, because one, they're not asking for any money up front. If they, if you are applying to go, if you are trying to submit to an agency and they ask you for money up front, just know it's a scam because agencies don't do that. Like, legit agencies don't do that. So they didn't ask for any money up front. Um, but what you do have to be willing to do is invest because your photos and photography and all and um, getting like professional getting things done professionally is like really important so that's what you have to invest in and that's not their responsibility it's more so like how much are you willing to put in for them to help you and it's not like oh like you have to pay them because it's a partnership so it's supposed to be they're hiring you you give them what you have or you you know show them the skill show them like how much how dedicated you are and you do that by investing in yourself so finding good photographers getting headshots and um, different like photos and stuff so you do that and then they get jobs for you and then depending on um, their rates they get their piece of the commission and you get your money and so he gave us like the whole breakdown everything and he's been in this business for a very very long time so that's cool oh, whatever. and um, he was a part of IMG models but the thing is um, he is I'm not really interested in modeling I'm here to be an actress but if I do have opportunities to model and make that coin just to you know in the front of a camera I will and I'm not even gonna try to downplay it modeling it isn't as easy as people make it seems to be it takes a lot of a lot of oomph to model and literally sell whatever the customer or the client wants but in terms of acting though that's way I want to thrive which I am looking forward to I know like a lot of great photographers back at home oh, hey. oh, hi. <laughs> how was it good it was great so what do you call like the pictures um i was recommended like a photographer to go to to take my photos so everyone here was so nice like honestly going to like like seeing people's experiences I thought people were going to be like not so nice I mean it's just the first first time I'm meeting them so I wouldn't be surprised if like they're just showing us you know they're like good side I mean but so far no one is put off and everyone is like really nice and friendly and outgoing and warm and welcoming and I love that I love that I stand I st this paper is just giving me the details of what I should expect from the shoot. Okay, that's cool. And you're here as a model? Yeah, model. That's good. I just work a lot like in this entire industry. Oh, so you're, yeah. you're comfortable? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, so I started off. Um, I lived in New York for my life, so I started. I was freelancing a lot, so I have a lot of um, like portfolio work that's not entirely professional. Mm -hmm. People who aren't really professional photographers, but you know they're damn close to it. They're mm -hmm. pretty good at what they do. So I have just a lot of random work that people just have it as a hobby. You know? I've heard the song before that you played. It's much of that guitar class. Oh, you have a serious, <laughs> serious. You have a serious. serious. I like club down there, trust okay. me, I got the whole island thing down. You go there often? So hair and makeup is included. I have um, more than one looks, um, black and white. Um, the agency is going to like take care of like how they want my photo to look. Um, it's unmarked, unwatermarked. Um, going to have assistance with wardrobe. Um, I have six outfits for them to choose from, okay, so they're going to do all of that. And to be honest, the price that they are charging, it makes sense, especially with professionals, it makes sense to pay 
for the photos, the hair, the makeup, and all of that. Oh, and the shoot is gonna take about four or six hours. Crazy. I don't know what I was expecting because, like, the agency that I'm with back at home, there was no like call back, there was no like, you know, let's have a meeting. At least, I don't know if others experience that, but I haven't experienced that. I'm not wearing much. I'm just. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Everything is done with talk to all who I needed to talk to and all that. I am currently here. Oh my gosh, let me let me not look like a desperate girl. Oh my gosh, please do not kidnap me. I don't feel like being kidnapped right now. Ooh.